Right. Hello, people of the internet. I'm Nick from Mercy Magic, and today I'm going to show you my top four uh, FNM deck for Mono Red Aggro for Dragons of Tarkir Standard. Now, most of you watching my channel for a long time know that I'm a hardcore control player, but I had to get rid of the deck due to financial issues, so this is my replacement, at least for this format. Hopefully, once Standard rotates, I'll be able to build a modern deck for y'all, but I can't do it yet, so I'm just going to show you. Went two and one, lost the mirror match in the last round. It's funny. I played Bant Heroic round one, two zero. Mono Red Goblins, uh, two zero again, and then I got two zero in the last round of the mirror match. So deck is solid. I mean, that's basically the entire like shop was. It's either there were four mono red players, a Bant Heroic, two blue black control, and a Teamer Aggro. So deck is solid. But let's get into the list. Enough of my ranting. I play 17 basic mountains. This is something that I found perfect. I was playing 18, but I found that the extra lines were irrelevant since there are situations where you flood and it's like, go away. So I cut from 18 to 17. I, I see no difference. You want to play as little lands as possible. All your stuff costs, like, so little. The highest cost on the deck is 3, so it's not even really worth it to run that many lands. Uh, we're going to start with 4 Monastery Swiss Sphere. There's a reason this card's like 4 bucks right now. It's just great. So 1-2 for red, Haste Prowess. This can come in on turn 1. Turn 2, you can play either a Crow and Crusader, Hammerhand, take 5. Your guy can't block. Or you could just go Swiss Spear, Dragon Fodder, uh, Attack, uh, take 2. So there's a lot of first... And even in the late game, it's not terrible if you're top decking and you draw this. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's basically like the best creature in the deck, I think. Uh, four Foundry Street Denizen. This just combos with so much in the deck. Your Crow and Crusaders can trigger this. Your Hoarding Outburst and Dragon Fodders can trigger this. Also, you could sack this to a couple of cards in the deck that we have. So, I mean, you can do some stupid stuff. I'm playing a playset of Fire Drink Crusader. If I had Zergos or Rabble Masters, this would probably be the spot. But it's a good budget replacement for now. It's not terrible either. I mean, the fact that it's a 2 1. You know, it's relevant. Sure, the damage equals pain is not good, which is why I sided out in most of the mirror matches, because I just can't take damage off this guy. But most of the time, game one, he's just a grizzly bear, and you can keep poking at your opponent if they don't want to kill him. And if they bioblade it, you don't take damage. It's not a direct damage spell, it's a minus spell, so those are two different quantities. So those are just, like, tips for you at home. For Chrome Crusader, just the fact that there are, I think, like, 15 spells in the deck that can trigger this heroic is relevant. So it's like, turn one this, turn two Swiss Spear, get hammer hand this, make your guy unblockable, swing for five, is the, the, probably one of the best combos that you can do in the deck. Even this with uh, Foundry Street Denizen isn't terrible, since you can swing for six if the Denizen gets the two triggers and they don't kill it. So Honestly, it's just... I'm not going to say it's broken, but it's just bad, you know, badass. And I'm on Lightning Berserker because I, I felt like Frenzy Goblin's pretty bad because nobody's playing Obzon right now, so might as well just play this since it's a fast creature that can just punch face. That was it for our creatures. We're running 17. You could make the numbers up as you wish, but 26 spells in the deck are a lot, but you do open up a creature every once in a while. Uh, 4 Titan Strength to help trigger your Heroic, and you can do this on your own upkeep, so to where you could target your Heroic guy, get your token, and then, um, like, for example, if you have a Chrome Crusader, you could go turn one this, turn two, upkeep this, scry, figure out your draw, and then uh, you get your plus three, plus one, and you get your token. But it makes it vulnerable to removal, so I don't know if you want to do that or not. Uh, probably the best card in the deck is the four collateral damage. Uh, no one expects this card. And even if they do expect it, it's like, ah, uh, whatever. You know, the fact that you can just sack tokens to this and lightning bolt your opponent is, is pretty stupid. You know, you can you can go turn... On turn 3, I can deal maybe 10 damage, and they're already at, like, 6 or something, and they're going to die. Or they go to, like, 9, and they're within 3 burn spell range. But still. Just stack tokens to it, done, my game over. Two main deck lightning strikes, because I still hate Goblin Rebel Master, I hate Goblin Pile Driver, just anything with the word Goblin in it dies, it's a burn spell to the face, it's... The problem is it's 2 mana, and the, and the curve in the deck is really low, and it wants to stay low. But other than that, it's still really good. Four Dragon Fodder and four Hoarding 
outburst. These are the best creatures in the deck, quote unquote creatures. They just make tokens and can help you spam, and they can also help for Stoke the Flames. Which, if I wasn't running collateral damages, I would play Stoke the Flames, but anyway, that's irrelevant. But you know, eight ways to make tokens. They can spam, they, you can sack them to collateral damage after they get blocked. It's not that bad. Then the last eight cards in the deck, I'm running four copies of Dragon Mantle. And then this is the best card in the deck for Hammer Hand. This creates some dumb shit. You know, if they go turn one off, you can just say, okay, can't block, plus one plus one of my guy. Oh, I also have hate, so yeah, it's kind of thing. And then this, this is a late game. Sometimes I've actually had to do this on my opponent's creature. So, like, if they see Dragon Mantle, it's like, like a Dragon Mantle draw into, like, the Hammer Hand to get my combos going, or I just draw it into a burn spell to kill them, and that's a wrap. So that was my whole main deck. It's 60 cards, as most of you know, so I'm OCD about that. Now, there are some things you could do to change it up. You could take out uh, some of the stuff and play Searing Bloods in the main. You could uh, take out the Lightning Berserker for any other one of that you want, or just like play 16 creatures. I don't care. This is just what I ran. It worked very well. The deck is consistent. It's almost as consistent as Control, and that kind of hurts to say, but... Anyway, we're on to the sideboard. I'm going to begin with two Magma Sprays. This is just for the Mirror Match and um, Green. You know, Goblin Robin Master, dead. Mana Producers, dead. The fact that this is only go to creatures kind of sucks, because it was just one mana, like, shock you. Okay, that's fine. But it's it's still a removal spell, and it's great. I've got three Searing Bloods on the side. I just didn't think they were relevant enough for the main, and I'd much rather have my attack power than a burn spell. But this is still something you can bring in an air match, as you can see. Mana base is all red, so casting this on turn two is not an issue. Shock, Lava Spike, you know, kill your creature, take some damage, prowess trigger, done. Uh, one blinding player on the side, this is my little tech. Uh, you can strive on your heroic creatures so that you get uh, your uh, your tokens. You can also target your opponent's creatures. So this can help you win games. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sorry. This can help you win games against opponents that are running like Siege Rhino and Corsair Crucifix, so it's like no, 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 bam, hit face done. Three Arc Lightnings, this can help you win games again. Like, I've had situations where I'm, my opponent just has a bunch of tokens. It's like, 1-1-1, one, 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 prowess, heroic, bam, hit you. There was one situation where I went 1-1, one, one, won my opponent to kill two goblin tokens, and I was able to attack for the win with a lightning strike. They were able to get down to two, tapped out, I was able to lightning strike them, and that was the match. Three Act of Treason. Uh, this is just for, again, the offside matchups. I never ran into any of it, which is why I never came in. But it's still amazing. Like, if you have four mana, you could take their Siege Rhino, they take four, and then you can cast Collateral Damage, sacking it, and then they take seven. So, that's that's pretty nutty. And then the last two cards in the sideboard, and then the deck in total, is Outpost Siege. This is for the control matchup, to where they just counter your shit and kill everything. So that way you can at least... Or, like, you could name Dragons on this, to where if they kill your stuff, they take damage. And the only way to really deal with this is Perilous Fall, or they have to counter it. And if they and if they counter this and not your creatures, then you're okay with that. But anyway, guys, that is my mono red aggro deck for Dragons of Tarkir Standard. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. As always, I'm Nick from Motor City Magic, and if I can see my fucking cursor, god damn it. I feel like a dumbass right now. Uh, I'm sorry for this on late times. Anyway, I'll anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow.